welcome back to my channel house of virgo this is kelly uh, if you're new please do hit like share and subscribe hello to everyone in the chat and everyone who's supporting my channel let's see what virgo's drama is tonight today for october if you are new please do hit like share and subscribe if you'd like to get a personal reading there's a link in the description box below this video where you can purchase a reading directly through my booking site all right virgo let's see what's going on here for you virgo's love messages for october 2021 okay oh, i'm beginning with the devil well 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 and the four of wands let's see page of cups ten of cups the sun <laughs> the wheel of fortune seven of swords the queen of cups and the king of cups oh my goodness bottom of the deck the world card so Big changes coming here. Uh, a new cycle is beginning, closing the book on the last chapter. The book is finally finished. Okay, taking one glance back just to see before moving on. Okay, the death card is here. Definitely some endings. Okay, and new beginnings happening here. interesting oh my goodness all these major arcanas okay we're going to take a look at this here there's definitely okay scorpio energy but there's definitely some change here no more suffering the end of trials and tribulations and an opening up for some a reconciliation um, a wake-up call happening here definitely the lovers a new beginning a decision being made in regards to love at this time and a sense of reciprocity, giving and receiving, giving back, sharing. These are beautiful cards, beautiful. All right, let's leave those right there. Let's take a look. Okay, so who do we have on the board to begin with? We have Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Gemini, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, the world card is here twice. And we do have a match, the King and Queen of Cups. So both matching one another on an emotional level, emotionally. Let's take a look here. What's going on? This devil card, you guys, There, this is an attachment, a bond that cannot be broken. Your person is just obsessed with you or just they have a lot of anxiety but they this there's a very physical attraction here very extremely strong obsessive physical attraction here let's take a look here wow the two of cups so there's definitely an energy here of someone wanting union with you i mean this whole reading speaks of attachment love, happiness, joy, okay? The two cards that I'm seeing that might be a little questionable, the devil and the seven of swords, okay? But we'll get to that seven of swords in a minute here. Before I go forward though, let me get the love energies. Let's see what the love messages are here for you, Virgo. Virgo's love messages. Pay attention to the red flags. Wow, Virgo. Okay, definitely with that devil energy here. This feels like the forbidden fruit. This relationship, this connection with someone feels like a forbidden type of energy. It's very physical. Um, a forbidden attraction. Let your friends help you. And romantic feelings. Who is Who is in this position of saying it's forbidden. I'm just hearing this message, like it's not supposed to be, it, it shouldn't. It, it feels like a secret affair 
um, or it's just two people that really truly wish to be together but maybe cannot because there are other influences in this connection or circumstances somebody might be married uh, your person may be married or connected to another person in a relationship of some sort wow and it feels like maybe you guys are friends and this person is kind of like yeah yeah but it, they feel they're very crazy attracted to you i feel like this person wants to leave whomever they're with i feel like um there might be a work connection with them you and your person might have some kind of a connection where you see each other at work or um maybe it's like your bank teller <laughs> or someone whom there's some type of an exchange here financial exchange monetary exchange so it just feels like it's a work or it's like a um maybe part of your career or something it's a forbidden thing though <laughs> it feels very much but it it also feels like this this person you know maybe you know them maybe you don't but it feels like they see you and it's like they want to leave who whom they're with i feel um but there's so many red flags you know because they kind of feel like they shouldn't they but the more they feel like they shouldn't is the more that they want to if that makes any sense the more they feel like they shouldn't the more forbidden it is the more they want to you know be with you it's like really it's 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 full of mystery and drama <laughs> and saga <laughs> virgo typical let me take a look here let me look at this four of wands okay yeah so this person is in a relationship or they're married to someone and yet they still feel like they feel single they feel like they're on their own or they're acting like they're single okay um and it's this connection or this relationship or, or marriage with the other person that they're connecting with is like strictly for money it's a financial connection your per, this person here is supporting their person financially um it's all about the money it's all about buying material things putting money in the bank it's um, their person takes their money and spends it or buys new cars or new clothes or you know uh, is more is very materialistic and that's their significant other but with you it's like <laughs> this person wants to like be intimate with you they want to spend time with you and it's because of you they're having this wake-up call where they're like oh like they are so magnetized towards you virgo and here's the page of cups so there might be some flirting that's going on or some type of communication there might be like an exchange of sexy selfies or um, pictures back and forth i feel <laughs> it's funny because i know if you've been following me my channel i always feel like this is somebody holding their phone up and taking a selfie and like posing for a selfie <laughs> your person thinks they look like a fish um they don't think they're as attractive as you are uh they feel you are much more attractive look at this the four of wands is flipping out they're sending selfies or pictures to you from their home it doesn't have to be inside the house but you know where they live and I, I just feel like they they view themselves as being not with anyone they view themselves as being single and as being there's no love in the marriage is how i feel they want that with you they want to ex virgo 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 it is just so typical virgo with your mysteriousness and your quietness and your sexy sultry ways um it doesn't surprise me one bit that this is happening here not one bit maybe you are with a significant other it just feels like a forbidden you know like it has to be in secret or um, 
Yeah, like that song, Secret Lovers. It has to be in secret. No one can know. Nobody's sharing anything about it. Keeping it all to ourselves, but it is magnetizing. And there are a lot of red flags here. And I feel like you and this person are kind of like sneaking around. It feels that's why that Seven of Swords is here. There's a sneaking around. And maybe you're not actually doing anything. For some of you, it could just be in your thoughts. You might just be thinking about this person and knowing that, oh gosh, you know, you know that they're with another, you know that there's somebody else, and maybe in your thoughts, you're hoping or you're you're fantasizing <laughs> about being with this person. I know I'm calling some of you out. Sorry, you don't have to admit it here. But this energy is definitely playing out here. Hold on, I gotta fix my my sleeve. It's annoying me. Sleeves, if sleeves aren't right, Kelly's not right. All right, so let me see here. Whew. This person wants to marry you. This person, Virgo, wants to be with you. Point blank period. There's nothing else here that's telling me that this is not the case. They're even talking to their friends about you, asking what they should do. They're telling their friends that they've met Virgo or that there's this person at work or this person that they know or they keep seeing at their job or, you know, I mean, your person can work in like, I don't know, 7-Eleven and every time you come in, you know, you just, they freeze up. This person freezes up. You know, you go in, you go into a store, wherever it is, some of you, maybe they're, I don't know, they could be cashier or, you know, they work at a corporation or something and they sit at a receptionist desk or they're like, uh, maybe it's a real estate agent. But this person, every time they see you, or maybe it's a real estate office, every time a broker, every time they see you, they like freeze. They get tongue tied is how I feel. And they're ready to move forward with you, but I feel like before they make take those steps to move forward with you, they are um, just looking back at their past relationship or, or they're leaving somebody. They're making plans to leave someone, to run away to be with you. And they're going to go public with it. And that's what I feel here with letting their friends help them. They're, they're speaking about it now. Your, your name is coming out of their mouth. I just heard Amy. I just heard Amy. And I heard Jonah. Amy and Jonah. Okay, so now, there's, now they're talking about you. Now they're telling other people... They're speaking your name because that it's becoming real to them. Their attraction and their feelings that it's like they can't explain it. It's the guys, when the lovers is here, this is twin flame energy. Some of you, you know, you've already met your twin flame. Okay. But it feels to me like your person, even if they didn't know what twin flame means or meant, for them, they're understanding now what this is, okay? Even if they don't use that word, those words, twin flame, they're understanding what this is. I feel like there's ascension happening here. Major, major change. This person feels so lucky to have met you. I feel like they were not happy in their relationship anymore, in their connection. I feel like it's been like that for a long time. The person that they were with just seems to, it feels more like a, a business partnership. There's no romance in the connection anymore. And this person is seeking that passionate, physical, you know, get lost in each other. That magnetism can't be away from one another you know, um, obsessive, like, they're just so, I just see someone in a very sleek, for uh, it's a female, well, femme, a femme fatale, in a very sleek, like, navy or dark, dark blue dress, navy, very slim, 
All right, let's get some clarifiers here. What is this? Show us more of this sun card. Oh yeah, they coming out telling their friends they're broke, busted, and disgusted in their relationship, in their marriage, they're not happy. They feel like their person is taking all their money, is taking everything. They feel they have like a poverty mindset. They want to be happy again. They feel like the the marriage or the relationship they it's they've only stayed because of the kids or because of the money, because of all the um, financial dealings. Uh, but there's no romance. There's no connection. I feel like you, if you haven't met this person, you will very soon, possibly in December for some of you, okay? But this is an energy here of like you meeting your match. First, it feels like you've known each other forever. It's actually a twin flame connection. It might even be starting as just friends. All right, show us the world card or the wheel of fortune. All these major arcanas here. Now, this could just be someone that you've connected with in the past, um, but something about the connection is forbidden. So, forbidden in the sense where, for some of you, where it's like, it's all about the asexual connection. And for some of you, it's, it's like difficult to stay away from. So it's forbidden in that way, you know, like, like Jesus wants you all to like do it the right way. But some of some Virgos are like, oh, but wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> this is just way too tantalizing and way too tasty, you know. Wow. I was, didn't I just say, let me clarify the world card. And then I said, wait a minute, I mean the wheel of fortune. And they gave me the world card. Okay, definitely, like, you can't, this is massive change, massive change. And I was going to point out that this lover's card does represent Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden when she eats the forbidden fruit. And then she, she tantalizes and, and influences Virgo, you have a very, he you have a, a, an amazing influence on people just by being who you are, just the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you look, the way you are. And that's just a Virgo thing. You're just very charming and you have charisma and you're quite magnetic. And look at, look at him. He's looking down at her loins. She's looking up at spirit. Okay, so you can change the sexes if you like, but you know, you, you're a very spiritual person, Virgo. But you, you have like some kind of, you know, you represent the high priestess where you have mystery and secret and an all-knowing wisdom. Yeah, there's something about you that is just completely drawing this person in, whomever they are. And even if this was someone you were connected with in the past. Um, wow, here's strength. Even if this is someone you connected with the past, it feels to me like it's becoming more magnetized between the two of you. Someone feels like there's an absence and it feels like that is drawing you both into each other. Now strength is here, which is Leo energy, getting up the courage to make this change. This person is leaving someone are leaving the past behind all their level lovers, all their exes, you know, to come and be with you, even though it's such, it just feels like a risk. And if the fool card pops out, then that will just clarify it. But it just feels like a, it's like a gamble here with the wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune is like gambling, you know, it's, it's making the big bets, not knowing uh, whether or not it's going to pay off, but this person is in that position, like they're going to like gamble everything they have to be with you. And it feels like they're seeking their friends to help them in a sense of like maybe support, 
you know, I just kind of hear like, well, what do you think I should do? Should I, like, they're talking to other people. All right. So, let's see. Oh, this is all like behind the scenes here. They're be being very sneaky. They have very strong romantic feelings for you, Virgo. It's not just physical. It feels like romance also. Romantic also. Let me see here. The Seven of Swords. Wow, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, this person is plotting and scheming to um, end the relationship that they're in. Put an end to it. Right? They're not telling their other person right now because they're just seeking, I feel like, advice or support from their friends about how to go about it because, you know, it's just that it's behind the scenes, right? It's not that they, I don't feel like this person is being a cheater or a player or anything like that. I just feel like they're being drawn to you and called to you like you are their person and um, there may even have been some intimacy between you and this person behind the scenes. Now you're both coming across as the king and the queen of cups. Even though you're Virgo, maybe you have water somewhere in your chart, maybe in Venus or moon. Okay, but let's take a look here. You're both all up in your deepest emotions about each other. Maybe not revealing too much. Here's the, here's the Knight of Cups. There's so much love in this reading. I can't even believe it. Um, this is definitely like you two are going to get married. There's like going to be a proposal. You two are going to come into union here. Express your love to one another if you haven't already. I just feel mostly it feels like this person is um, there's conflict that they have to deal with and some of you have to deal with that as well but I feel like both of you are going to come together and make a decision to leave everything behind and start with each other there's no ace of cups here so that means to me that that love or that you know new beginning that initiation has already happened it just feels so scandalous virgo you're so scandalous <laughs> you are scandalous all right let's get some let's get some love messages here let's see what these love messages are Hi everybody, how are you? Happy spooky season. I have to get my uh, my skull candle out, I forgot that. Let me get that. I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, what are they giving us here? I look for you everywhere. Ooh, little obsession here. This person is spying on you. They're seeking you out every day. Wherever you two see each other, I feel like either they go to that place all the time, they frequent it, or when they're at work, if you see them at, at a, you know, at a, at a work situation, or um, you patronize a particular place, they're always looking for you to come in. They, this person is inspired if you work with this person they just said this person is inspired to go to work strictly because you're there <laughs> you might see them i just saw i saw teachers at a school uh, walking past each other in the hallway and there's like these little intense glances <laughs> what else are they giving me oh my gosh i just saw somebody uh it, i just saw a gas station too this is so weird i just saw someone pulling up in their car getting out pumping their gas and somebody else pulls up as well and gets out and there you both are there holding your hoses 
pumping the gas <laughs> and maybe you met this person there or and then they keep you keep seeing them and that's for those of you who haven't like had a connection with this person yet um or you'll keep seeing them and for others this is like your they live on your street or in your town but i feel like maybe you see them on your street you know what i have to okay the spirit just said pull a couple cards about this person is there everybody's like who is this let's see okay we're gonna do hold on you guys spirit said tell them about this person a couple cards about this person all right we we need some clarifiers on who this is because I called out some signs, but I need to tell you who this person is. Okay. All right, here's the things, here, here are the phrases that they're giving me. Cage fighter, I just heard cage fighter. Um, I also hear military. Um, soldier. Um, and then I also heard landscaper, gardener. Oh, somebody's last name is Gardener. They said, no, it, it's not a gardener. It's the last name is Gardener. Prison guard. Correctional facility. Oh, some of you, either you see this person or you will see them. There's a bus stop. There's a bus stop. Oh, King of Swords is here. Okay, police, military, lawyer, um, MC. What is MC? I just said M, letter M. And the letter C or E M C E E politician campaign finance manager. What the heck? Oh, um, airline airline works on an airline as well. What else can you show us? Spirit, what else can you show us? Oh, royalty. It's weird. weird. Um, well, it's not weird, but I saw England here with this flag. So this person might be, well, I mean, if you're meeting like one of the royal family members, hey, let us know how that goes. But <laughs> definitely someone in, in England. They don't have to be part of the royal family, but they could be like connected. Whales. I just heard whales. All right, let's see what else. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Okay, so this person might also play a sport, rugby, golf. Um, baseball. Um, this this person. <laughs> this is a very phallus symbol for ladies. So this person does kind of have. Um, uh, they're they're very much alone. Let me just say this, okay? Or maybe it's some of you men. There isn't a female around, so you're taking care of business on your own. Or they are. Okay, that's pretty much the extent of things for them, because even though they may be in a relationship or they're connected to someone, like none, none of this is happening. None of this is is really happening for them, except for themselves. If you catch my drift. Okay, they just gave me the five of swords. Ooh, this person has a sharp cutoff game. Hmm.
very um i feel like in business in in their work um very sharp at their profession they don't take any um bs from anybody um what's the word i'm looking for um hold on a second it's I almost want to say swift, but I'm not sure it's swift. It's, oh, it starts with an S. Um, I don't, it's not stingy, but it's like someone who's very like, um, oh, I can't remember the word, but anyway, they're just, they have a very sharp cutoff game at their, at their where they work. It's, um, it's cutthroat kind of a position or job that they work at. Yep, Page of Swords. They're a very curious person. Um, and some of you, um, this person's a writer. I just heard they said, live by the sword, die by the sword. Something about writing and the pen and how the written word can do more damage than anything. I'm not sure what exactly that means, but I'm um, also hearing like a, an investigator or private eye, possibly. I'm going to do one more. Okay. So we have Sagittarius energy here. Hmm. Oh, well, in typical fashion, they're either a bartender Maybe you are, or um, they're a chemist. Could be a chemist or a pharmacist. There's something to do with um, biomedical, perhaps, biomedical science. Some of them work in a lab, or some of you, or there's something here in a lab. Maybe you go get your blood done in this person. They're a phlebotomist, or maybe you are, and they come in. <laughs> They keep coming in and getting their, keep getting their jabs. <laughs> and you're like, for real? Are you really this sick? And, and secretly they're like, no, no, no. I just, I just want to be near you. That's so crazy. That's obsessive. Um, for some of you, this could be, uh, you, you're sticking people for the vax. You meet this person or um, you're going in and you meet them. Okay, <laughs> let's get back to the emotions. I keep trying, you know, I have never spent so much time fixing my sleeve as I have today. I don't know what is going on, but I keep fixing my sleeve. It's like I'm coming undone. Oh, I just heard that Duran Duran song, Come Undone. Did you ever hear that song? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna post a link to that. That is the sexiest song, and I feel like that is the song for this reading. Uh, come undone because that's what I feel like is happening here in this connection um, you know this attraction this it just unravels you the way it, it's like you can't you and this person either you can't or you will be uh, unable to stop thinking about each other this person's definitely in this energy can't stop thinking about you looking for you everywhere they go looking for you in their dreams so scandalous all right, let's see. You came closer than anyone. <laughs> what? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, Spirit's giving me all these cards here. You came closer. Oh my goodness. This is very sexual. I'm not even going to explain it. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it right there for you. Oh, my sponsors are going to shoot down my channel. I don't give it up. That's a very, there's a very physical thing here. I lost myself for a little while. Oh, yeah. This, you know, you know the way this reading is going. This is the eye roll, eyes rolling on, in the back of your head <laughs> during the, uh, the physical intimacy. Oh, my gosh. 
or the fantasizing about each other in the physical. I know that I crossed the line with you. Ooh. I feel like their intentions were they're crossing lines right now. They're crossing boundaries, crossing lines that are forbidden. And they know they shouldn't, but yet they want to. And this person is, like I said, they're so drawn to you that they can't not. If you don't recognize the description I give here, just know that you may later. Okay. I'm starting to understand our connection. That's what I said. Um, this person is seeing something about your connection. Remember I said in the beginning, um, it's a twin flame and, and maybe they don't use those words, but they understand what is happening here. There's just this draw that it's, there's a draw and it's unexplainable and you can't explain it or you won't be able to explain it if you haven't met this person yet. And it just feels like December. It's almost, this could be so not only forbidden, but dangerous because the passion and the bond here is so strong. Um, it's like something you see in a, in a crime story you know, the aftermath. I mean, it's like so forbidden. <laughs> and I'm not predicting that that's going to happen to you. I'm just saying it's like, you know, the acts of passion here are ridiculous. Okay, they're ridiculous. Now the card, I want you. This is what's happening here. <sighs> this person thinks about you day and night. Day and night, and the more you are gone, and the more you disappear, and the more that you don't show up in particular places, the more they are looking for you, the more drawn they can't think of anything or anyone else. All right, let me just here and now, your true love is already a part of your life, Virgo. Oh my goodness. You must know, some of you know this person. One person is giving too much in this relationship. They're giving a lot of thought. You guys definitely, look, I feel like your person is the one who is really like giving in so much and they're trying to seek to stay tempered um, and balanced without losing themselves. But they're definitely stalking or watching you, looking at every move, looking for you. Okay. This is going to turn into a marriage. I mean, I feel like you guys are already married in the in the otherworldly sense, or at least to them, you like you are their person um, in another realm. <laughs> this is like, uh, I feel like there's explosions here. I feel like there's going this chemistry or this there's explosions when you're together. That's chemistry right here. All right, we're going to stop with this because I kind of feel, oh my gosh, yeah, now they said no. Fate, this is a destined partnership. You guys met by fate. You definitely did. And there's no way, there was no way to stop it. I, I know like there's sometimes, th some, these things happen. These things happen. And I just feel like, no one's at fault. It's just something that came about or will be coming about. And no one's at fault here for the way this has all evolved. But I just feel like there's a huge, huge wake up call happening between two people where it's like a decision is getting met, made here. This love decision here, this being together. In the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> this relationship or this connection between the two of you will change mankind as we know it. It is this scandalous. <laughs> How does that song go? Come undone. Dun, dun, dun. I can't remember it, but it's from Duran Duran, and it is. It is. I I implore you if you have not heard that song you're thinking of this reading put it on right now 
put that song on because this 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 is it. This is the theme song for this for this reading. I mean, you both are just going to feel if you're not already feeling this way, like you just like you're under a spell. Maybe somebody's putting you under a spell, but like you're like it's sinful chocolate de decadence. You know what I mean? It's like it's it feels sinful, but it's so good it's a good sinful but it's it's an it's it just feels so magical like like a spell <laughs> all right let's get some charms here okay well the monkey is back again Somebody is the Chinese sign, the monkey. I feel like monkey pops up a lot, but maybe not. But this feels like a monkey on the back. Like it's addictive. This connection is addictive. It's like cannot stop. It may even be that this person does not leave their person. But this is something that goes on like a secret affair. Um, that this relationship or this connection just lives on and on for eternity until death do you both part. Now, some of you, I hear you. Oh, that's not for me. And others are like, that's right up my alley because I'm not trying to be married or anything. Um, but there's a gold heart here. No, it's red. Why did I say gold? A red heart. Okay. I just saw um, something to do with blood and the heart. Blood and the heart. Blood pumping through the heart, very like pounding, heart pounding, a heart pounding connection between you both. It's crazy. And then there's a piece of watermelon here. Hmm. Again, watermelon sugar, watermelon sugar, high. It's like, yeah, it's like a high. It's, it feels like a high, like an addiction, like can't get enough of each other. The thought about thinking of each other and the physical aspects of the connection or just thoughts of each other, just completely like some of you. Okay, I'm gonna say this, some of you or some that your person thinks about you in a physical way and they don't have like hands free and then boom <laughs> you know what I mean tower moment just thinking of you and then you know for others it could be you as well with your person um, I'm gonna get more charms Okay, well, we have the infinity symbol here. And also December 8th, I'm feeling something happening on December 8th. Could be connecting with a, a Sagittarius. Their birthday could be December 8th. Um, we have a butterfly here, simple transformation. And then of course this um, horrible looking squid octopus is back. This person wants to get their tentacles all over you. I can't pick it up. Mm -hmm. You know, listen, you guys, messages come through. But look at the, the head of this thing. <laughs> Is this you, Alex, Derek? <laughs> or is this your person, you ladies, or whomever, whatever gender you're interested in? Like tentacles everywhere. Shakisha, is this you? How about you, uh, you mods, Virgo, Brittany, 808, QT? Tentacles, tentacles, tentacles everywhere. This is definitely, all right, we're gonna pull more charms. Yes, I'm calling you out. 
Samina, SM. <laughs> okay, so we have a bottle opener. Oh, there's definitely someone here is cracking the lid off of this connection here. Definitely cracking the lid, like shaking a bottle of champagne, popping the cork, and boom, explosion. Bartender, uh, somebody taking the lid or the cap off things. And we've got a teddy bear. Oh, somebody calls somebody teddy bear or bear, T Teddy, or somebody's name is Ted or Theodore. That's a funky looking teddy bear. It looks like that thing's been dragged down the pavement. Cuddly. Oh, this feels like security. This connection, this something about this person and you brings a sense of security and um, like feel good, like feel good feelings. Hold on. Wow. We have a, a second watermelon, you guys. Definitely something. Somebody likes watermelons. So you're eating watermelon right now. Having a, um, a water. I just heard watermelon shake. What the heck is that? I don't even think that's a thing. They just said watermelon shake. Maybe shake the seeds out. Watermelon shake. And then we also have imagine and beautiful. You are beautiful in every single way. Words can't give you down. And imagine. All right, somebody's name is John. Somebody's name is Christine. Christina. <laughs> this person thinks you are absolutely beautiful, and they just imagine what it would be like to be with you if you haven't been together yet. They think about that all the time with you. Hmm. There's a white, listen, okay. White shirt with a red heart. Can you see it? If not, I'm going to show you. White shirt with a red heart. Listen, I was seeing blood and the heart. This person might be a cardiologist or a doctor or someone, someone's a, a cardiologist, a doctor or a nurse um, or someone deals with the heart. They, this person, I heard, I heard, um, and works on an ambulance or an EMT or uh, works in healthcare. Something to do with blood and the heart. You might meet this person. They have on a white shirt with like a heart on it. Okay, I'm going to pull another one and then I'm going to get going. I'm going to actually think, oh my goodness, it gave me two. Okay. There again, we have a little card. This is like from Alice in Wonderland. A little card with a heart on it. Okay, so again, definitely, this is the, um, hold on you guys, I'm blind as a bat, so. The Ace of Hearts. Oh my gosh, that's what I, I said that the, the Ace of Cups was not here. The initiation because I felt like it already happened and this just confirms it. This is the ace of hearts, the ace of cups. There's so much, there's so many hearts here on this table. The king and the queen of cups, you both are coming through in that element, the king and queen of cups with um, nurturing and care for each other and love, like a very strong emotional connection. Um, a very strong emotional feelings for each other, um, both very deep. It's like you've met your person for life. Did something, was there another charm? I think I got them all. I thought there, oh, here it is. What is this? Oh, it's a Cinderella pumpkin. I told you, magic. 
some of you might be you'll feel like that um, or your person or both of you feel like you're in either you're in relationships where you just nothing but working scrubbing the floor um, around family that just doesn't appreciate you or people who don't appreciate you and That feels kind of like for the females, like a Prince Charming. This feels like a fairy tale, magical read for some, for, for a lot, for all of you. And it also feels like um, with that pink pumpkin carriage, you know how Cinderella, um, her carriage, didn't it turn into like a pumpkin or something? I can't remember the story where she gets out of that pumpkin carriage. And it's just that you too, it, it feels like that Cinderella story a little bit, you know, very romantic and beautiful. And you two just like meet each other by chance. Some of you are like, can't believe that this person is interested in you or feels this way about you because this person, remember I was saying something to do with maybe royalty or they just have like, they're part of something much bigger and higher where a lot of you are just kind of, I don't know, maybe you're, you're, maybe you're, you don't feel that way about yourself and this person is at a much higher level, but like the draw between the two of you. There's, so there's definitely some sense of difference between the two of you, but like this person cannot get you out of their mind. It's kind of like, it feels kind of like fanboy, fangirlish kind of thing, <laughs> you know, but it like actually happening, something actually happening. There's such a, such a strong draw here in attraction. So I feel I'm going to pull some advice cards here. I'm just going to pull some extra cards to see what else is going on here. I kind of did my reading a little out of order today, but I just feel like um, by this reading, like the energy that I'm picking up. Oh, I just got a strong whiff of pineapple. Pineapple. <laughs> a strong whiff of pineapple or some tropical mango or or pineapple or something a tropical fruit smell all right let's see yeah i just have like such a my brain feels foggy because of this reading it's like um in dreamland it's kind of like i i feel like some of you you go about your daily day and when you see this person or when they see you i'm not sure who i'm picking up it's like they can't concentrate they don't see what's going on around them somebody's like stumbling or they're clumsy whoa they just gave me a whole bunch of cards oh wow is this yeah here's a double card again wait yeah here it is an illusion you know these cards tell you what to do <laughs> but i'm just gonna say you know we've got archangel michael here breaking chains here but i feel like a lot of you kind of want to be trapped in some ways not all of you um maybe some of you so it, this might be for some of you that this this thing is so surreal this feeling with this person or what you will be feeling with them it's almost like you have to break the addiction because it feels like it's too overwhelming just or this person needs to in order just to concentrate you know this pull is so crazy strong it's very illusionary it's very dreamlike okay here are the four of swords mental exhaustion you need to get more sleep right now virgo based on what you may be experiencing like you need to take a little 
rest from this because it's so it's like sweeping you up oh i just heard that phrase swipe or no swiping you some of you might meet this person on like a dating app where you have to swipe and then either you're going to stop swiping because you find your person or you need to take a break from swiping. <laughs> I don't know what that means if you're on a dating app. Some of you are, I see you, you're like, no, 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 no. Yes, maybe. Yes, maybe, but I'm not going to reach out first. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm done. Okay, five of swords. Here you go. Cutting it off. Cut off game here. It's interesting. It's telling you to avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. Hmm. So I will tell you, there are a handful of you here listening who are like, this whole reading screams red flag. And if that's how you feel about this, because not, you know, it's a general reading, so we're connecting with everyone. But if that's how you feel about this, then your message here for you is to take a mental break break these chains get away from this energy if it pops back up in your life or in one way or another um, and for some of you it may be a bad choice to go in this direction and for others you're just like no i know exactly what you're talking about bring it okay so let's try not to don't get don't yell at the messenger i'm just the messenger here <laughs> Because I will say it's all, it's very, it's very consuming. It's, it's very physically consuming, these fantasies and these thoughts about each other. And don't forget, it felt in the beginning quite forbidden for you to, like, maybe it shouldn't be happening. I don't know. I don't like to use the word should or shouldn't because I feel like that's very restrictive. But there is something here about where it could be quite forbidden. All right, let's get one more and then I'm going to say goodbye. <clears throat> Transformation. Oh my goodness. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations. This here, um, breaking free of procrastination, releasing old belief systems. What card is this? I don't know what card this is. <gasps> OMG, this is the tower. I said, I think I said the tower here, releasing. Oh my goodness, this there's, you know what, Virgo, some of you are gonna have to break this whole thing down and get away from it and others, there's like a massive change and transformation happening here in this connection a significant life experience that is requiring someone to change their old way of life, to come together, to be together. And this is like very powerful, this connection, very powerful. Some of you may need to break away from the procrastination of not taking a risk and going for it, okay? Some of you need to release either old people, old belief systems, this tower card feels like breaking everything down and rebuilding your life in a lot of ways with somebody here who is just like, they're yours forever, your twin flame, your lover, your life forever. All right, Virgo, this is a powerful reading. I'm going to leave this here for you. And again, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. You can also join me here every Friday. 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Central Time. Just pop in the chat, donate $20 with a question, and I will pull one card for mini reading for you. All right, you guys? So I 
hope that you enjoyed this rather scandalous reading and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.